Hey, what is going on everybody? It's me, Levi Mikey here, and today I'm going to be showing you the top 10 best Fortnite glitches. Okay guys, these glitches will be in a variety of different locations. You could do it in creative mode, in playground mode, some of these glitches, but let's get right into it. I don't want to waste any of your time, and I'm going to bring you the first glitch, which is how to get under the creative map in Fortnite. So, all you have to do is pull out your phone, okay, and then go to prefabs, Scroll down a little bit until you find yourself the silo, okay? The silo is somewhere near the middle, alright? Then you click equip. After you click equip, you guys want to have it so you're about to throw it, guys. And then simply walk right into the middle, alright? Make sure you're exactly in the middle and then throw it down. And you'll see your screen is like this. You look like you're kind of in some kind of hut. And then all you have to do is jump and then fly. And look guys, you were under the creative map. There have been several methods before, but they all get patched. And once you're under the creative island, you can go to this terminal here, and it's basically like my island setting. Right, guys, so. for the second glitch, what you're going to do is you're going to get to the main island in creative mode with your phone. So you just gotta hop into your creative inventory, go to devices, and then the second to last row, which should say player spawn right in the middle, equip that, place that thing down, and then let it sit over you, and then press T or whatever to get the pyramid, okay? And then before you place it down, all you gotta do is just click escape and respawn as soon as you do place it down, guys. Okay, and if this method doesn't work for you, sometimes it won't. All you have to do is watch my other my one of my other videos and I show you how to do this with a new improved method. So place it down and then click respawn and it should work. Okay guys. Alright guys, so now that you did that, it is so easy to get to the main island now. All you have to do is hop into one of the floridals and you are there. Look at that. Alright guys, we're on the main island now, you can see that we have our phone, and the great thing about being on the creative island with your phone is that it allows you to do so many cool glitches with your phone on the island. Alright guys, for the third glitch, I'm going to be showing you how you can bypass the sky barrier in Fortnite, so you have to make sure that you are on the creative island with your phone, then go to devices, pull out a shopping cart, and also get some balloons from the consumables tab, okay guys? So they are right there, and then place your shopping cart down. Alright, you gotta, I guess you can't do it on the football field. Just find a spot, there we go. And then all you have to do is delete it, enter it, and then switch at the same time. It sounds kind of complicated, but delete it, exit, switch. Alright, so, just EX and control for me. Alright, it's tough to get, guys, but you should hear it break. And that's how you know you did it. Ready, so, enter it. Okay, it's tough. I'll tell you if we can get it. Really tough to do, but if you get it, it's so rewarding. Alright, so, okay, we're gonna try again. Okay, I don't know why it's not working. Alright, I think it might have gone, guys. So all you have to do is then deploy three balloons, guys. Alright? And then just let it take you up. And just sit here, guys. And after a while, your balloons will pop, but you will continue to rise after you bypass the sky barrier. And you can reach space, guys. That's how easy this glitch is. Alright, guys. For the fourth glitch, I'm going to be showing you how you can get under the map and view construction sites and anything under the Fortnite creative map that you'd like, guys. So all you have to do is open your inventory, go to devices, Grab an X4 Stormwing, and then go to Consumables, and grab two Rift to Goes, okay? One, two, and then place down your X4 Stormwing, alright? I like doing this in Pleasant Park, it just works out well, so then you have to do E, fly, and then go to the passenger seat, and then Rift to Go once, and then twice, and you should be under the map. Alright guys, so once you're under the map, all you have to do is look for Loot Lake, okay? So open up your map, and then go to Loot Lake. It's not that far from here, so we're gonna fly over there, and I will show you the construction sites. But you can see, guys, we are under the map, and you can see all the cool stuff. Alright guys, now that you're near the construction site areas, you can look under it and you can see all the cool stuff that may be coming out. So right now there's not really much under these construction sites, but you can see that if you go around the map, you can see everything that's going to come with the construction maps. And you can see all the stuff that they might have added in the future. Alright guys, so we're going to be moving on to the fifth glitch everyone. Alright guys, so in this next glitch, I'm going to be showing you how you can emote while flying in Fortnite guys. So open up your inventory, go to devices, and then what you want to grab is a hoverboard, okay? So driftboard, spawn, consumables, and then all you have to do is go to balloons, okay? Balloons, guys. All right, and then place down your hoverboard, and then what you want to do is hop into your hoverboard, deploy three balloons, one, two, and three. Okay, guys, and then all you have to do is do an emote. I'm going to do boogie down, 
and then just hop off. And look, you are still doing your remote while you're flying in midair, guys. This will really freak out your friends, and they will be so jealous that you see it. They see you emoting in the air, guys. So we're going to be moving on to the next glitch, guys. I know this one was a short, was a short one, but it's still really cool, guys. All right. All right, guys, in, next, in this next glitch, I'm going to be showing you how you can get permanent ice on your quad crasher, okay, guys? So as you can see, if we drive in the ice right now, we'll have icy tires, and that's really cool, but it goes away really fast, and you guys don't want that. So today, I'm going to be showing you how you can keep this there forever. So all you have to do is drive onto the ice, you have your icy wheels, and then what you want to do is hop off, get icy feet, and then hop right back on really fast. And for whatever reason, guys, you will not lose your icy wheels. You will keep them forever, guys, until you hop off your quad crasher and then hop back on. Then they will go away. But look, now you can slip and slide and look really cool with your quad crasher. I don't really know why this glitch works, but it does, guys. And I'm going to show you the next one. Alright, guys. This next glitch is going to require the quad crasher again. And what this glitch allows you to do is it allows you to phase through walls and basically become invisible and invincible to all of your enemies, guys. So all you have to do is go to your inventory, go to devices, it's right next to galleries in between weapons, and then go to the quad crasher spawn, equip that, then place one down, and that's all you need for this glitch. All you need is a quad crasher and some willpower, guys. So you can find any object that you can break and you can phase into it, guys. So let's say we want to phase into this car, okay? Why not? Let's phase into this car. So all you have to do is go up right behind it, okay? And then what you want to do is boost and click backwards at the same time. So drive backwards as soon as you boost and then just hop off. So boost, drive backwards, hop off. Okay. It doesn't always work, guys, like you just saw there. But I'm going to show you do how to do it again. Ready? This dumpster. So all you have to do is boost back up and then hop off. And then that should have worked and it should allow you to phase right inside of it, guys. Look, we are inside of the dumpster now. It is basically invincible. I don't know if you can destroy it or not, guys. We'll see. Yeah, but if you hop back off of it. Yep, now look, it's invincible, guys. So you could do this in regular game modes and make it completely invisible. I wouldn't recommend it, though, because you can't get banned. But I'm going to show you more objects that you can do this with. I prefer doing this with the big trees. So you can find them all over the map. Like this one right here, this huge oak maybe i don't know if you do it with the tree guys you can hide yourself completely inside of the tree and it is so great because you will never be found and you will win games by doing this but you can't get banned so be careful so back up uh, all right no don't come back here all right so that's the thing this glitch is kind of on and off but if you do this right guys and you master how to do this you can win a lot of games so i just really want to show you how to do this in an oak tree yeah look right here okay so all you have to do is back, zoom, and there we go. And then hop on. And look, guys, you are completely hidden inside of the tree. That is so OP, guys. I don't know how this glitch is not patched. And you can even look inside of the tree, guys. That's really cool. It looks like a tunnel almost. All right. So we're going to move on to the next glitch, guys. And if you're enjoying, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But we're not done yet. All right, guys, for this next glitch, all you have to do is go to your inventory devices and then grab your baller and this glitch will allow you to explore areas around the creative hub okay without dying and it's kind of actually really cool so all you have to do is place down the baller like i did right there hop in it and then i like to take the route over this way because it also allows you to do a cool jump and you'll see as soon as you get past these palm trees right here your screen glitches out and you'll see there's a huge crack right here but i'm not scared you gotta plunge her up all right it's really tough to angle your plunger guys all right no i don't want to die come on reach it all right you should probably take the other way i guess guys but sometimes you can get some cool jumps in and you'll see that if you go to the other side of it that's why i like to go this way because we don't have to go through this water it's kind of a pain guys but once you get over here you just have to go up this side right here and then you can see that there's some cool stuff already you can look inside the volcano you can see some kind of hints and little things that are going to happen you can see some great views of the island too guys all right and then all you have to do is go over this way and Look at this, you can look down inside and you can jump down. And it's kind of plain, but it's kind of cool to see that there's a volcano that you can explore. All right guys, this final glitch, it's it's been a trip guys. And we're already at the final one. Not gonna say it wasn't painful on my part to put all these glitches together, but it was fun, it was fun, all right? So hop into the baller that you uh, already have placed down if you have your phone correctly. And this glitch, all credits go to retaliate the founder. All right, so they could come over to this side, left of the portals that don't take you to the main island, that take you to some, like, mini games, okay? 
And then once you go over here, you're gonna see that your screen will glitch out after you hit around right here, yep. And then all you have to do is go down right here and then just simply exit your baller. And once you do that, you will be under the map, guys. But if you did enjoy this video, it, it would appreciate it. I would appreciate it a lot if you could leave me a like, comment, and subscribe for more semi-daily Fortnite uploads, guys. So thank you all so much for watching this video, and goodbye.